here we have a Cambridge Audio Go radio uh, that won't turn on. Or if it does, it's very erratic, turns itself off. Uh, there's no obvious signs of how to get in. I've tried, uh, obviously, cannibalising, trying to uh, open the box, uh, thinking it was a hermetically sealed, uh, sonic welded type joint. It's not. Uh, the next thing, very thin, sanded down uh, screwdriver. You can prise the uh, front grill off. And if you carefully do that, you will notice underneath uh, there's lots of screws uh, which can be used to separate the two halves, whether that's for a fault or a battery replacement type problem. Uh, obviously, that's up to you. Uh, so far, this is proceeding. Right, having undone the six screws which fix it, uh, that is the battery compartment there, so if you pull the battery off and that is the connector so you can disconnect the battery. So if you've got a battery problem, details of the battery are on it. Uh, obviously 11.1 uh, volt, 1500 milliamps. Uh, this one looks like it's uh, 26 of the 10th 14. Oh, it's obviously 2014, so it's not that old, being 2019 now. Uh, they feel quite flat, but there again, it, the problem isn't with the battery on this one. You may have a battery problem, in which case uh, you can uh, just sort, of sort out batteries. problem is this, that the uh, on switch is a bit erratic. Uh, that necessitates undoing the various screws to uh, explore further. Right, for ease of access, uh, this speaker here is fed from this connector there, come here un undone, and this speaker is from one hidden under the bottom. I've uh, previously undone it. Uh, oh my God, me! You know, as well. There's a connector down there, which is this one, which is this speaker. So undo those before proceeding further. Right, having dismantled it so far, the problem on this unit is the uh, power switch. Uh, problem so undo four screws one there one down there one down there one down there then lean it back and it will come away it's showing the, the uh, three switches and obviously uh, from this end you can disconnect the multi plug uh, there which will separate this now from my experience previously when buttons fail to work it is often uh, an oxidation uh, of the little contacts uh, which are like uh, flexible circuit board material with a conductive pad that, that presses uh, against a, uh, a two contacts to make the contact. Uh, that is where the problem probably is. So I have to undo that, then undo the various screws to separate that and have a look what's under these uh, switches and hopefully uh, cure it by cleaning. Right, uh, there is the switch panel, uh, and contrary to what I first thought, it's not uh, conductive pads like a keyboard, uh, it's uh, discrete little switches and the power switch, you can hear the clicking, uh, checking it with the test meter, that measures perfectly okay. So the problem is obviously elsewhere, so continuing again. Right, having cleaned everything, unfortunately, they say the, the switch is measured okay. Uh, all I could do was obviously unplug the various plugs, uh, clean things, reassemble it. Uh, everything appears to be okay. Uh, upon reassembly, it now appears to be working. Uh, the noise in the background is Radio 2. Uh, for those non UK residents, well, that's one of our local radio stations and uh, it would appear that everything is now working. Uh, obviously if people have got battery problems there's the battery connected to there so that should be a straightforward job to do uh, and that's it for the end of this video. I'll just reassemble it and hopefully from now on it's okay.